Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm going to give this a second because it keeps seeming to shut off. So hopefully it's actually running live. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody's day going today? I got a little devotional called Don't Debate the Debater. See, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20, Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? See, last week I had a devotional. We talked about the Lord has dominion over the forces of evil and will always be victorious. To take hold of this, we must understand that the way the enemy undermines us is that he will debate with us about whether what God said was true. See, he does so to tempt us to doubt the Lord like he did in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now this, or, uh, chapter 3, verse 1 through 3. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. See, at this point, it is important that we do not underestimate the enemy's effectiveness as a debater. See, Satan has argued with the greatest minds throughout history since the world began and has often won. His goal is to get us to overthink a matter until we are utterly obsessed or confounded by it to the point that we can't sleep that we cannot get away from it it's in our every thought it's in our every conversation it is then then he had confused us to the point where we no longer can trust the father we've all been stuck in that point so don't fall in this trap stop trying to figure out everything because all we're really supposed to do or all we're really doing by this point is debating the enemy and he's much better at it than we are He's way better at it than we are. Instead, resist him by quoting God's word and expressing your trust that the Lord always leads you to victory. Which I'm actually working on another devotional called um, Living in Victory. I think I'm going to say that one. Understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Let's close this in prayer and say, Jesus, I will not lean on my own understanding, but I will trust you completely, knowing you always lead me to triumph. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. See, God bless you guys. And remember, don't be trying to debate with the enemy because he's way better at it than us. He has crushed so many minds through the Bible. That's why the Bible shows us. It started with Adam and Eve. He's, he's even tried to debate Jesus, but Jesus beat him. But he, there's not a person he won't debate. See, Jesus was the only one that could beat him. But every other human that has debated with him has lost. And that will be our outcome too. We will lose. There's been moments through my life that I have debated against what the enemy has done to the point that I can't sleep. I can't quit talking about it to every single person. And that's exactly what he wants to do. He wants to cause confusion. He's done by that point when you've allowed this to happen. Confused your mind so badly that you have done, done his willing. You've done, been trapped in his grasp of, what was it speaking First Peter, that um, he's like a devouring lion. Like he, he's just devouring at you. And he's done, did that to you once you've debated with him. And you try to win it. The only way we can win against him is by quoting scripture. The word of God sharp and true. It's our only action and defense against this. The armor of God is so perfect for it in Ephesians 6. There's a reason why Paul speaks of it. Because it is what we need to do. Because he's a very formidable enemy. And too many times, just like last week, I'd put dominion over demons. People in life are giving too much control and power to these demons. By speaking of the power they got. Instead of speaking of the power that Jesus has to overcome it. So my friends, today... Stop debating with the enemy and stop debating with God and realize we have to submit to Jesus the only way that we can defeat the enemy. 
because he will debate every single thing like he did Eve to us. He will debate it all. Did God surely say that to you? Don't think you haven't uh, had the enemy say that to you. Just think about that for a moment. The enemy has said that to every single one of us. Are you really sure that God had said this? So it's time to take dominion over the demons like last week. It's time to take control of our lives as soldiers in Christ. And it's time to rise. See, the enemy has been fighting me so hard this week. I said I preached seven times this month. Seven times a divine number. I have a revival service this Saturday and then church service Sunday. And it's quite ironic because the revival service of God is the biggest service I've ever had. And the enemy has been fighting me so much that in the past four days I've only slept ten hours. I've only slept 10 hours because he's trying to take the soldier of Christ out. But as, you know what? Take ownership of our Jesus is bigger than whatever the enemy does. A man on 10 hours of uh, sleep through 96 hours of, of the days that's been going on in the past four days is 96 hours. I've been up 86 of those 96 and the Lord has strengthened me. He has strengthened me. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be able to continue to do this right now. See, I'm just a mere human being. I'm a infinite being that serves an infinite being, our God. So I love you guys, soldiers in Christ, and stay humble. Stay in the word of God that is sharp and true. Immorse yourself into the word of God. Don't let the enemy debate with you with what God has done like he did Eve in Genesis chapter 3 because he does it to us. Once God has given you an anointing and he's appointed you to, towards it, and that's the uh, series I've been preaching lately, the enemy wants to take that away from you. Don't let him take it. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And our jobs as Christians, as soldiers, is to stand tall in the word of God, sharp and true. And there is no weapon that is formed against us. Amen? No weapon. So stay humble. Love you guys.